Hello everyone, my name is Promo and since a couple of weeks I started uh, doing a lot more iRacing. I've always liked uh, racing games, playing on the PlayStation, Xbox computer. Uh, I wanted to take it a little bit more serious, so I bought myself an, uh, a nice steering wheel and a set of pedals and started with iRacing. Um, I've done a couple races already uh, over the last few weeks and this is one of my uh, last races on the Nürburgring uh, with Skip Barber. Um, I did a few before but I crashed a lot so I thought let's give it another try and well a lot of stuff is happening this race. Okay Rene, get ready. Green, green, green. The last few races I did, uh, I also started from uh, P14 or 13, but those were really dramatic after the first two corners. So I'm hoping that's not the case uh, in this race. But we'll see. So we're able to clear the first corners without any crashes. So that's positive. If the rest of the race also is like this, then uh, I'm very pleased. I do have to say, I really love the circuit and I really love the skip power. Um, due to the fact that I'm quite new to the game, I, I, I need to learn a lot. And the skip power is a perfect car for me. Uh, I also do races in the BMW M8 and GTE. The IMSA Sports Car Championship, but I find, find that uh, quite a bit exits. harder. I will upload a video this week of me driving the BMW M8 uh, on the circuit. And I just have to wait for that. Left side. Still there, clear left. I was really happy that I kept the car. Uh, it's always been a very difficult corner for me, uh, especially in the first the first lap when the tires are still cold. Um, it's quite slippery, I feel. So being able to hold that uh, slide, uh, really awesome feeling. But I didn't know that the fun really begins right now. So you see cars going off left and right, right flying in the air, right, right, got right overtaken clear, twice, on your right. um, thought, oh, clear that went pretty right, well, right. and then here I get punched off the track. Right. Luckily no damage, so I was able to move on, uh, but uh, going further back. But I thought, if I can finish this race without any more incidents, um, P10. I'm really happy with the result, so we'll see how that went. I was a little late on the brakes because I was able to keep it, and the two guys in front of me clearly didn't. Um, so I moved up another two positions. And I'm not the only one struggling here with this track. Seeing all the messages on screen uh, of other people crashing and uh, having a lot of trouble in the first lap. Yellow flag. Caution. Uh, I'm definitely not alone. Well, here's someone else. Don't know what there happened. And I started to get a lot more comfortable with the place I'm in right now. Just finding the rhythm, the tires are getting warmer, so I've got more grip. <laughs> that guy just drives straight into the wall. But yeah, pretty pleased with the result so far. It 
So now that things have settled down a bit, I would like to talk about uh, what drove me into iRacing um, and what I did in the last couple of weeks uh, leading up to this point. So the last couple of weeks I picked up Gran Turismo again. I really liked, uh, really liked that game. Uh, it looks awesome, uh, drives awesome, but I still drove with the controller. Uh, so that was totally opposite of uh, how iRacing feels and how iRacing drives. So the next logical step for me to do was to buy a steering wheel. So I bought myself a Logitech G29, uh, coupled it up with the PlayStation and drove with it for maybe a week and a half, Stevens two weeks, uh, until I decided I wanted to do a more serious thing. So I went uh, looking online for uh, different simulators and came across uh, Assetto Corsa, Project Cars, R Factor, uh, Race Room uh, and iRacing. Uh, and iRacing uh, really caught me because I really like to be competitive in everything I do I want to win it's with sports, it's with work, it's with uh, gaming in general and also with racing uh, I really like the aspect of uh, being able to drive against people of assumedly similar skill level uh, and work your way up the ladder and see uh, improvement in what you do not only in lap times, but also in, uh, in case of I racing, the I rating. So that's something I really loved about uh, I rating. I racing. Uh, I went, I went up, uh, I have a subscription for three months, and uh, haven't stopped playing uh, since I started my subscription. So I raced every day. Uh, the first half of the week mostly practice to learn the track, learn the car, uh, look where the braking zones are, uh, look how you can turn in the car the best way and on Thursday, Friday I start doing races and especially the first week I dropped down uh, quite a bit. That's logic, I was new to the game. Yeah. But after the first week, and especially in week 3, I started to uh, gain R rating, um, improve a lot, uh, be quick, uh, get top 5 places, pull positions, um, so I'm starting to get the hang of it. Um, yeah, I really love that aspect, getting better by time, uh, practicing a lot, um, see tangible, res tangible results, and yeah, just having fun with the game. So that brings us to our other guy here in front of me. Okay, Rene. Uh, I was a lot faster uh, than he was, so it was uh, obvious. Uh, this was actually a perfect moment for a takeover. And the long straight, I've got the draft, uh, so I'm able to take over uh, quite easily. And I can see the other cars in front of me, the grip of all of them, as my next next objective. Trying to get Clear there. Left. Car left. Well, Still there. it didn't quite go as planned, <laughs> as you can Still see. There. Um, not only Still was I there. using his draft, he was also using my draft. Still there. So he was <coughs> able to get Still alongside left. of me. Uh, and this was quite a tricky moment. Luckily I didn't hit him, Car left. and he backed off because uh, yeah, he left. wasn't able to uh, overpass me in that corner. So we went up a place, and here you see the uh, guys in the pit stop from the <laughs> carnage at lap 1. P8, two laps left. So as I mentioned before, I really liked iRacing and um, I wanted to start uh, making YouTube videos of uh, my progression and um, 
from a different viewing angle as all the other guys do it. Um, I look at a lot of uh, iRacing on YouTube, uh, Twitch live streams, and those guys are really, really fast, in my opinion. Rubio is the so race. I wanted to take you guys with me on my journey to um, yeah, becoming better at the game. Um, you guys giving tips to me how I uh, should uh, race or improve my race craft, and hopefully you will learn also something of me. And let's make let's make this a team effort. That's really what I want. Uh, together with you guys, uh, improving in this game, having fun. Uh, maybe one day do community races with everyone who follows me. Um, so yeah, that's really my dream. Just, just letting grow the channel a bit. Um, have fun. Uh, interact with each other. Uh, be nice. Competitive. Just like I am. Well, at least I'm competitive. Stevens is now in the lead. Anderson mentioned 70 minutes repair. Well, I've done uh, four more lap, four more races of the Nuremberg Ring with Skip Barber, and exactly the same thing happened to me. Crashing in the first corner, get a toe, seven to nine minutes. Wait, fast repair, get out of the pit stop, crash again, <laughs> have a long tow, another repair. So those races were really bad. But I'm lucky, this race went pretty well so far. And so Nico Fur was the guy who overtook me just before I crashed in lap 1. I knew I was faster than him. But I just need to wait for a good opportunity to take over. Uh, you see the gap is growing between him and the guy in front of him. Um, so he's not up, in pay, up to pace with all the other guys. So I need to overtake him as fast as possible. So I can uh, pursue the guys in front of him. And maybe get the chance of moving up two or three positions. Because I was so focused overtaking him, I didn't notice that um, he both have been caught by the guy behind me. Um, so I'm taking. Um, I want to pass him right here, take the outside corner, and luckily just stay on track. But the guy behind me wasn't uh, so lucky, but he still managed to able to maintain his car. And um, well, he's trying. He's in my draft right now, so he will definitely try and overtake in this uh, long full speed uh, portion of the track. Stevens is now leading. I tried to give him some space there but uh, the rear slipped on me so I went pretty wide. I stay far to the right as I can and maintain my speed. And because I don't want to want to crash, I just ease off the throttle a bit, give him some space to overtake, and stuck and uh, get behind him in his draft. My plan from here to the long straight was uh, just stay behind him um, with a maximum of one second, uh, so I can get his draft on the long straight and overtake him there. So that was uh, my main objective right now. He's got enough pace to uh, catch the guys in front of us. So no worries here right now for me.
Stevens is leading the race. Now I'm starting to get a little worried. Uh, he's passing the one second mark. So I need to, I really need to stay on the steel to get the draft at the long straight. We're also catching the guys in front of us. Uh, P5 was uh, about 12 seconds when he overtook me and now at around 10 seconds. So this is looking pretty good and going to plan us so far. No need to brake here, just let off the throttle, shift down gear, another gear. Here I tap the brake just to stay behind him and got a good exit and try to build a little bit of a gap between us uh, so I can get the most benefit uh, out of the long straight. <laughs> but I overdid it a little bit so I've got a 1.1 second uh, gap between us. And I'm not able to get in this draft. But we're, st we're still gaining on the guys before uh, in front of us, so that's that's positive. But Rubio is now in the lead. He's going left to right to get me out of his draft. Getting closer, not quite there yet. The gap was just too big to uh, benefit from it. I just took a look on the inside. Right. Right. Ooh, near miss. Still there. Clear I shouldn't right. have done that. I just should have stayed behind him. Uh, my mistake. Uh, those those faults. Yeah. I learn from it, won't have it again, I hope. Um, just uh, getting more experience with track driving and being on the track with other guys. When I started iRacing I really thought that the racing here was a lot cleaner than in GT Sport. Um, but I was surprised when I fir my first races were done. I was out of rookie class, had got my D license and started competing there with uh, the Skip Barber. Um, the races weren't so clean as I thought they would be. Uh, a lot of crashing, uh, a lot of bad overtakes, dive bombs, um, just people making a lot of mistakes. And I've noticed since my iRating was it's going up to 1.4, it was 1.6 at some time I believe, and the races tend to get a little bit cleaner. Not on the Nürburgring, but overall they, um, people know what they do, uh, are a little bit more careful. Uh, still, a lot of stupid things happen, um, but luckily it's a sim and not real life. But I thought that the races were overall a lot cleaner than GT Sport, but that was not the case. So I think uh, Gran Turismo has done a great job with his with their safety rating um, the and trying to keep everyone uh, in check and in line. Stevens is now leading. So 
So, so far everything went smooth. Made a couple of mistakes but nothing too big and this race is yeah, going pretty well. Uh, we're catching the guys in front. Uh, the Captain Thomas has increased quite a bit to almost 2 seconds. So my plan didn't work, work out as I intended to be. But uh, still happy. Um, just trying to keep it clean. Uh, keep it between the lines. No stupid mistakes or as over braking or uh, locking up the rear or uh, throttle too much. Yeah. But I'm quite happy with the result I've got so far. And I believe that the guys in front of us are or fighting or making stupid mistakes just because we get closer really fast. Besides of uploading videos to YouTube, I also intend to um, go live on Twitch twice a week. I uh, still haven't decided with, di with what days, um, but I think it will be at least Wednesday and maybe Friday, Saturday or Sunday evening. So let me know what you think would suit you best and I tried to uh, make that work. During practice I've made a lot of mistakes in this corner. Just going too fast and crashing to the outside wall. It happens so easily. There goes one off, that's another freebie for me. Now up to P7, so things are working out pretty well for me. And hopefully we can catch these guys in front of us and gain a couple of positions. But I think we have to do that on the long straight if we're fast enough. And I really like this part of the track. It's fast, technical, very fun. A lot of um, elevation in the track, so really tricky to get it right. But when you do, it feels great. It really is. So now we're at the end of the race, um, that also means we're almost at the end of my first ever iRacing video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, tips, tricks uh, regarding the video, my driving uh, or anything else, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see more from me, uh, please consider subscribing. I will uh, upload regularly from now on. So that means at least twice a week. And uh, as I mentioned before, I will do some live streaming on Twitch. So uh, make sure uh, you follow the link in the video description. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you, re you enjoyed it. Um, as you see, we weren't close enough to uh, close the gap to the guys in front of us. But P7 is 
a very good uh, finishing position for me. Um, learned a lot, gained a lot of positions quite easily. Uh, some near misses, few overtakes. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how this race went. Well done, mate. Good Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.